What's happening? What time am I setting this off, d Rump? Right now! It's set off time. Mega Power Hour back in action. You know we couldn't leave the people without an additional Mega Power Hour. I got my butter knife ready to crack open the slab. But before I get to that, I gotta bring in the other half of the Mega Powers. Biggie Shack of Mania. Where are you at, Big Dog? I'm tagging you in right about now. Comics. Hello, everybody. How you doing, dude? Ah, uh, yes. There it is. You know what? The Mega Powers love their grain, grain entrances. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, we got D-Runk chilling in the chat, man. Frank White himself. Oh, I clicked. Oh, this thing's moving and grooving. Hold up. Uh, Frank White himself in the chat. Omega Comics with the Stand the Man Lee picture. Stay Puff, okay. Big Stay Puff in the house, man, who's been taking YouTube by storm lately, which is a beautiful thing. Stay tuned to his uh, Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern comic community chat show. Sounds like it's an open invite situation. Sounds like a good time. I'll be working, unfortunately, but I'll try to catch you. JP, budget collecting in the house. Where's Perry? Perry Comics. I miss Perry, bro. We need. To, I want to link up with Perry sometime again soon. Uh, haven't been on yeah, the live Perry. with my boy Perry in a while. He blew up. You know, he went big time. He started wearing blazers. He got 1,000 subs. Or just about a thousand subs. Don't forget the little people, Perry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe Four Triple Seven, an absolute staple in the community. I was thinking of doing a video all about the chat all stars. Mm. You know, you know, list them all down and talk about them, give them some props. And Joe Four Triple Seven came to mind. Yes. This man came to mind, even yeah. though he does videos, uh, he gives us a little content, but so he's technically, you know, but he's still a chat all star for sure. Unruly Simeon, my brother, for sure. Spidey fan, that's right, man. You know, I stay repping the Levi's, I'm a classic American dude, just like Levi's denim, classic Americana. That's right. American made. Yeah, he's American made. Oh, yeah, you get me in the mood, dude. That's the shit. <laughs> Not bad, yo. What up, Sean Richards? Good to see you, man. Uh-oh. I'm none higher. Uh -oh. Yo, and... Sucker in. Jeez. Okay, Perry, jump on my stream later. I drop links in the chat. Well, I hope you don't drop links in the chat because I heard that can go. Ask NYC. That's not a good idea. But yeah, man. No. Um, man. So, what was I just gonna say? Oh, this is probably gonna be a comic, comic book centric episode. But I will say that American made Hogan intro. Not bad, man. Considering yes. what they had to follow, they had to follow perhaps the greatest entrance song in wrestling history. Um, they followed it up pretty good. That's not a bad tune that American made. Yeah, 
yeah, he he's he's been blessed with. And then, dude, the, I mean, the ultimate, of course, is the voodoo child, Jimi Hendrix. But you know, them two before it were were very good songs for the era, dude. I I enjoyed the WCW thing myself. Yeah, it's pretty legit. But uh, yeah, man, we're here. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to crack open this slab. Oh, I've never done it before. I'm, and I was trying to choose which one to do, and I went with this one. This was probably okay. You know, to be honest, maybe the lamest one in the bunch, dude. Because it's not even. Let me make it a little bigger so people can see. The American number five. It's not even a number one issue. Um, I don't know who the American is. It's a random superhero no. chasing an ape with a net, dude. The cover is really not that interesting. This lab deserves to get fucking cracked, brother. Let me <laughs> open it. And it's an 8.0. It's an 8.0. This, uh, the audacity. Yeah, this thing, every time I look at this book in a case, it's an insult to the case. So dude, let, let me make an cracked, effort dude. to show my uh let me let me make an effort to show my gratitude to the slab you yeah. sent me for a second, bro. Give me full screen for a second. Look what my man Big 84 sent your your boy Biggie Shack, dude. Man, I've been carrying this around like a little chihuahua puppy, dude. I'm like, <laughs> look what my buddy did on the internet for me from YouTube, dude. My man 84 sent me this Bin Laden, dude. I've done showed shockwave nostalgia, took it to the comic shop. I'm just like, man, it's a cool book. Oh, nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, that's dude. cool. You took it around town. Yeah, dude, for sure, bro. I showed my mom, sent her a picture. I was like, "Look at this shit." It's so uh, fucking cool. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. It's 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 a sweet cover, man. I love that book, dude. You tricked me, bro. I thought that you was gonna send me uh, Captain Crunch because when we was talking about it, I think I said something about it, and you was like, "Yeah, I sent you that one." I was like, "Oh, okay, that's cool," you know. <laughs> and I get this. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? I need to send on this one. This one's too cool. <laughs> I would have been cool with the other one. I was I was looking forward to it, dude. I was like, man, that's gonna be fucking hype. But this one's kind of it's won me over already, dude. It really yeah. has. Yeah. Nice. Glad you enjoyed, brother. Anytime, oh, anytime. You. And uh, yo, my man, Justice for Comics. Good to see you joining us, brother. It was very nice, uh, you know, linking up with Justice. If you guys didn't catch it on Justice for Comics channel. Last night, him and I kicked it. We talked comics. I thought it was a pretty good chat. And uh, that's my man. Yeah, Justice is hype, dude. I like him, man. He's cool. Oh, yeah. And, of course, Discovery Bay, JB, a.k.a. the Alpha Male, a.k.a. <laughs> what's on today. I just think that's funny because you had mentioned <laughs> I had to tell him, dude. He was like, I oh, really? Like, he was shocked, 84. I'm like, you motherfucker, you know how you roll, dude. You know how I roll, yeah. And, yeah. and I don't mean uh, it is in, like, Alpha Male is in, like, trying to, like, punk people. No. Like that. He's no, just he's like, a cool motherfucker. He's just a cool motherfucker. He's in control, bro. He's like, he... He was getting shit done. You know, he was like, all right, we're doing this. He was taking care of the setup of the booth. He was just like the man of action. And yeah. I respect it. When we went to that bar, it was JB, the one who was like grabbing the seat. And like, yo, honey, bring those drinks over. You know, yo, honey, we need another round. Like, he's just. Yo, Disco, me and 84 <laughs> always talk about, dude, shit we want to do with you, bro. We're like, man, Discovery's the fucking man, dude. <clears throat> yeah, man. So. I'm gonna crack this slab. I was I was telling Biggie before. I was like, I didn't. I'm sure there's like videos, uh, YouTube videos or something of how to open a case. Um, and I made a point not to watch any of those. Um, I'm like, let me just freestyle it and figure it out. Oh, I eyeballed shit. it real quick, and I I'll tell you my strategy. All right. Because. You know, it's a case that separates, you know, along here, as we know, right? Right. And and at the top. But right here on the side, it's got this little, like, special mm -hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where I'm going to strike 
You're really going to use a fucking butter knife. I was joking, dude. You got to have. Hold on. Slow the fuck down, Derek. No, I'm not, I didn't throw any pressure in yet. God damn, dude. My thought is. Chat, help me out, chat. Get this man, y'all. What Tell tool him is it? Chat. I figure it's perfect. You need something flat. My thought is I'm going to line it up with the crease. And I'm going to fucking bang, smack it Bro. down. There's got to be something better than that, dude. Tweezers, screwdriver. Fuck, no. I don't know, bro. No? I don't think so. All right, man. Let me get my other table. I got a second table here. Jesus Christ. This is the greatest YouTube content on the planet, brother. I love this <laughs> shit, man. I love it when people crack slabs, bro. It just fucking... It's the best, dude. Here we go. The, the top looks like it's pretty susceptible to a crack, too, actually. <laughs> But I'm gonna yeah. try it from here first. All right. <laughs> I'll put the book this <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking laugh at you the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> right. so I got a line up right here, ready? Let's smack this. No, shit. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to use my hand. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Fucking 84. The worst motherfucker ever to do this. <laughs> That's actually hurting my hand. Hold up. Bro, get a goddamn hammer, dude. Oh, shit. oh here we go. Ready? We should have brought D Runk in here, man. He knows something about it. Oh, Geeks does. Chat, help me out. Help me out, chat. Dude, I'm begging y'all. Here we go. I breached the slap. So I I made it in, you know. Okay. Okay. So I'm in. I have oh shit, he's doing it, y'all. Oh, I hope I just don't crack the slab though. All no, right, no, you're doing corner it. Corner off. I moved the corner off. Here we go. Careful. Careful. Here we go. Nice and Careful. easy. I think there's tabs on the end here. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Oh shit, it's doing it, dude. I think that cracking is a good sound. I do too. So here, see, we got a little initial cracking. Okay. Now I'm just going to go down the side with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I little Oh, I cracked it. I cracked it. No! No, you didn't. I cracked I it. Bit, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Now I'm not. Now I'm feel sad. Okay. We're good. We're good. Now we're going down the side. Okay, okay. Bang, bang. Sorry, yeah. Little, not a little crack, but it's, you know, it's all right. Okay. Maybe I should go on the other end now, like this. I mean, they call it slab cracking for fucking reason. Yeah, you got to crack the slab. Yeah. Oh, pull it apart with your hands. Okay. Oh, fuck. And oh, that don't sound like a good idea. He's saying use your mitts. All right, guys. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh, Come on, baby. I don't know, man. Oh, no. It's making for an uneven crack when I do that. I don't know if it's uneven. supposed to be like a real clean. Here's my progress so far. It's like that. Okay. Do when people crack slabs, do they open the entire thing or do they just open the top like that? Because I can probably get I think you're prying too much from the top. You gotta work from the sides and the bottom, dude. You know what? I think because let me see. Because Jeff, I think, is making a good point here. You could put a different book in there. Oh, no, wait. Someone else okay. made a point. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You don't need to crack it all the way apart, dude. Yeah, that's, yeah. Someone said it. I forget. There you go. Um, I think I can just slide the shit out. Yeah, man. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping us. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. That. Yeah, a little sleeve. So it's got a little sleeve. Yeah, it does. Oh. Yo, Can't this see. shit is like hermetically sealed, brother. Oh, okay. I think it comes out. Does it slide open? Damn. That's a thick one, though. That's like a bulletproof motherfucker, bro. That's nice. I think it glued the thing together. This wow. Thing. <laughs> wow, this thing's really... This is harder than cracking the slime. Jeez, right. The butter knife back out. Do people reuse this or do you? I don't fucking know. 
No, I'm really intrigued. I don't see that in mine. I just oh, see you a... have to cut it. Okay. <laughs> no, I see it. <laughs> um, Spidey fan says, no, Kenny. I know, right? Yeah, I have to cut this out. This thing's sealed like a, I don't know, like a fucking pack of sweet and sour sauce or something. Mm. That's all right. It's just a piece of plastic. I yeah. mean, you could just leave it like that. You hold on, hold on, eighty four. What's, What's up? the point? You're not going to reuse the fucking plastic. Just leave it in there. You don't put the book in this. The one I want to put back in. I don't. I don't know if after you cut it, if that'd be a good idea or not. Do you? I mean, I figure it's added protection because I don't know if that okay. makes it. Because I fear it's going to slide around in the slab thought, if I don't. Yeah, I thought it might be sloppy if you did it, but it, it's probably going to be all right. I would just put the fucking book in, dude. I don't know. Maybe it does stick to the plastic, you know? I, that's a good point. Yeah, I think so. I'm just trying to make as clean a cut as possible. I should have had a razor knife. You know, I saw uh, I saw somebody had, like, a framed book down at the comic shop, and they wanted to take it out. It was uh, Generation X, number one, uh, full cover. Oh, and, yeah. And... And the plastic and the 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 shit that was it was close closed in, like congealed to the fucking plastic. I had to tear the whole shit apart. It was fucked up. Oh, I think I have my knife here. Mm, look at that goodness behind eighty four, dude. Oh man, dude, I'm, I get more hype about his Young Avengers than he does. I think, dude. I think about that fucking book, like man, that's a badass book, brother. No, I don't have my knife. I feel like my scissors are kind of kind of dull, man. <laughs> That's not bad. It's better than better knife. So the plan, NYC said, what's the plan here for this book? Yo, Second Street Marvel. What up, man? Yeah, appreciate y'all for, for coming by, dude. Second Street Marvel is uh, prolific with video content. My man puts out a lot of content. Uh, mm. so props to you for that. Yeah, he dressed up like Spider Man yesterday, dude. What you know about? Oh, hold on. What do you know about this? Son? Yes. Yes. I totally fucked the book up. No, that's fine. No, it ain't. Look. <laughs> what up, son? <laughs> you got a nice hole in it. But, you know. Oh, well. Yeah, so I was just down to get, you know, rough and rugged with it. If That's why I didn't. I would have looked at tutorials if I was actually trying to salvage the book that I'm taking out and this and that. I would never be this reckless with it if, if I was just, you know. Um, so, boom. Here's the damage on the on the slab, so it didn't go unscathed. The only damage to speak of, right here, you can see the crack right there. Oh, okay. Oh well. So your boy literally cracked the slab. Is that like one side? Yes. Okay. Is and, it the front or back side? Actually, so it it is the back side. Yeah. So bam, oh. we got a nice clean slab. Okay. Cool. Uh, Unruly says, who slabbed that book to begin with? Yeah, for real. Who slabbed the American number five? And you know what? This Whoever that collector was that we bought that big slabbed collection from, he, I because I was wondering that too. I'm like, why that issue of the American number five? And you noticed it was like a patriotic type of slant to a lot of books in there. The one that Sean Richards copped, the Obama endorsement Savage Dragon book. Even the one you copped with Osama bin Laden, who's kind of a part of political history. Uh, so I guess the American is why he slabbed it, because it said the American. Mm, he was definitely on that kick, dude. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, NYC says, when you, if you try cracking it, your yeah, FF48, don't do it that way. Yeah, word up. 
Yo, 84. Now, here's the best part if you're still going to follow through, dude. What what fantastic glory are you going to bless us with, my man? Yo, I'm glad you asked, dude, because this is part one. Part one was let me get an empty slab. I want to crack it. And I got to put you on the spot, big dog. You know, everybody out there knows in the chat, my man, Big 84, is the cover champion, brother. Now, I don't know when his, his competition and NYC is the world hunt champion, brother. I don't know when their competitions are coming, dude, but I'm hyped for him myself, brother. Oh, that's right. Is NYC – Don Dowd is still the, the hunt yes. champ, right? Right. Nice. Yeah, I know the hunt's been on a little hiatus, man. Shout out to Tony Sanders, dude. dude yes. Dealing with some real-life stuff. Shout out to him. Prayers to him. Right. The hunt. We'll all be here. All the hunter maniacs will be right here when you get back, dude. And shout outs to y'all for I think that y'all would go at a drop of a hat, either one of y'all. I know how 84 is, and I know NYC is down as fuck, so pretty much. I mean, you pretty, might have to yeah, I mean I'm down. It's supposed to be, you know, a new book that you bought, so I have to I haven't done that yet. I gotta buy the book. Okay. Um, now this was a little eBay haul. This is a book that, well, there's three books in here. And there are some books that I've been wanting for a minute. I have one of them. I have one of these three books, but it's kind of a lower grade, and I wanted to upgrade it and shit. Why am I using a butter knife when I got <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's so funny, but that's like the go-to tool for cracking slabs. I don't know a better thing. I mean, it's only better. To go. Yeah, when you think about it, butter knife ain't that bad. Makes sense anyway, because it's like you need something to slit in there. Yeah, not too sharp either. Ooh, look at that! I like where Justice the Comics head is at. Maybe we can patent a tool for for slab cracking. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, I can say um, nicely packaged. You got the Gemini. Gemini thing. You got a little foam. Nice. It feels, oh, he's, Jesus Christ. He's one of those guys. DS Comics was one of the first guys that I've seen do it, where he'll put like five backing boards in a book. Yeah. And yo, it makes him like sturdy as hell. So Dude, I, I've been starting to do that. Like it, tr it, it totally tricked me, bro. I could, I thought there was at least one or two more books when I saw it. Cause that's what you're used to thinking. You know, you see a couple bag bag boards. You're like, Oh, there's another book. Yeah. Am I tripping? Um, if, yeah. I mean, it feels like, yeah, it feels like there might be two books in it or something like that. I've been doing that for, because when I go my light and short back, it's just, you know, one back and board, obviously, because it, they're nice and thick. But when I'm just using regular poly bag and regular back and board, a lot of times I'll put two back and boards in. Just because okay. they're kind of flimsy, you know? You know, some guys don't use one. Some guys don't even use a fucking board. Oh, just throw them in the bag, right? Yeah, I've seen Robert G, G Spot Galvin, I think. He don't fucking use a board, dude. Yo, and some savages don't even use a bag or a board, like uh, <laughs> Comic Court Chad. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. You just be st stacking floppies, brother. Yeah, man. That, that, <laughs> that's my boy Chad for you, El Presidente, dude. Big Chad, man. I, I like the Comic Corps, man. Shout outs to uh, my boy C Dub, you know, big legend, dude. That's my motherfucker. And then big Comic Corps Chad and uh, my girl. Shit, what's her name, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Comic Core Cat Ren. Yeah, Cat Ren. God damn it. I wanted to say cat, but I didn't want to be wrong. Um here we go. These three books. <clears throat> They're let me see. Let me go in the right order. There are three issues in order. So oh yeah, they're in nice shape too. So first book. 
Thor, number 167. Okay. Is that 12 center? Um, no, I think he's a 15. Mm. Shit. Ah, sorry. Um, boom. Thor, number 167. Bang. That one, it's, it's the other two that were the main two, but I think this one is the beginning of the storyline. So that's that one. Throw 167. 168 is the banger. This is the one that I didn't have and I really wanted. And store number 168, dog. Classic Kirby. Origin of Galactic. Yeah, yeah, justice for comics, Isn't dude. That- don't don't knock the hustle, man. Kirby's the motherfucking man. Just because he ain't drawing like boobies and assholes, dude, don't mean Kirby can't draw, man. I don't see nothing sloppy there, dude. <laughs> I had to give him some shit. <laughs> hey, I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's a nice shape, dude. I like this one. Galactus found. And then the other one is another great cover. Um the monster and the man god. Mm. Thor number 169 with the silhouette of Galactus and like a bunch of Galactus images in the background. Bro, my shit just froze, dude. I don't see you now. I just see one frame. Oh, really? Did I freeze? Oh, uh, you might have. Okay. Let's see. We're still on uh, the second one. Oh I yeah, I can see my my video's getting a little blotchy. Mm. Dang. Okay, sorry. okay, I, that's better. Yeah, it's not great. No, but we ain't froze. Yeah, that one's dope as fuck. Is that the uh, origin cover? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, well, I guess these both are. This one starts the origin, but well, I, I think technically this one leads into it. Hmm. Um, I yeah. you know what I'm gonna do? What's up? I'm gonna go into hardwire mode, brother. Uh oh. So, you know what that means? Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm gonna plug this in, and then when I switch over to not wireless, it's gonna drop me out. So, Biggie, okay. I need you to hold down the four dog while I do the old switcheroo. All right? No problem, man. Yo, what up, everybody, dude? Check me out, man. I brought some, I brought some thunder clappers behind me, dude. I'm in, I'm in Studio B, dude. Oh, check this one out. Look at this, dude. I got me a first printing bone, dude. Check that out. First print bone, brother. How cool is that, man? Number eleven. I love that. I paid two bucks for it. Nice Hawk one hundred and two. Nice crispy top loader from from your boy NYC. Had to throw that bad boy in there. Mm, I got both of my lights behind me. Now I think about it. This ain't good for showing books off. Get some light in front of me. There you go. Yeah, dude. Awesome book. I thought it went good with my Savage Dragon. Big 84 sent me. Know what I'm saying? Two green hawk menaces. Smashing shit. Look at them little, little savage dragon down there, dude. With that little American chick. I guess that's a giant uh, Bin Laden. I looked it up. It's first appearance giant Bin Laden. Pretty cool. I never went through this with 84. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happens. Yeah, man. I live in Ohio, so these bones are are all over the place. But you see like second, third prints. So I'm starting to learn more about them because I've been hunting for them. So I got my first first print. So I got that checked off the list. It ain't like a one through 10. It's number 11. But I mean, a number 11 fucking first print still... 20 30 bucks i think you know high grade which it ain't high grade it'd probably be worth more 
I guess I could click on the chat, check y'all out. Shout out to chat. Uh, I could just run the show from here. Here we go. Big Jigs Comics is up in here. Beck the Snake. Justice for Comics. Uh, Brick Hunter. Unruly. We got Mr. Miracle. What up, big Mr. Miracle, dude? Chilling, dude. Galactus will be, be the next thing else. I agree. There he Come is. Back, Jack. Sweet. Let's see. Hopefully I look a little better. That's I think decent. so. That's decent. It's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, yeah, man. What up to Bake the Snake? Brick Hunter. Mr. Miracle. Oh, Miracle. I keep... I got to make sure I send them out tomorrow. My Batman 251s. I was slacking. So can you DM me your mailing address when you get a minute? Because I got to send you your copy, dude. All right. One for Grader's Notes next week. Damn, looks so good in that Mylar. Yeah, I know. This is the original right here, baby. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I feel like that I... I feel like I might eventually want to upgrade this copy. I'm not sure. That big, that book's so sick. Sick. It's sick. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I'm pumped with with the Thor. Let, let me. I'm gonna put it into the slab without taking it out of the bag and board first, because I don't want to fuck this book up. Bro, I I almost want that Batman in there more now. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> I thought I day eighty four. I really thought you might put your Submariner or your Avengers, but one I think one of them's at CGC, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm first. I gotta just experiment with this thing. Okay. See, it's gonna look glorious. It doesn't look like the bag and board really wants to go in there, especially when you got five bags and five boards in it. No, you're gonna have to roll with just a plastic sleeve, bro. Hmm. Let me see what other comic I can put in here. Hmm. It's got to be a fucking modern. That's a Silver Age too. Is it? Uh, I think they use the same slab set. I think they have a one slab about. Okay. For modern and because I got yeah, they all seem to fit. All right. Thank you. Your drive throughs are awesome. Thanks, Jigs, dude. Appreciate you, bro. Much clearer new potato. Oh, <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let me put this new book in here. This new book I haven't I haven't shown anybody yet. I I picked it up recently at a nice little deal. Let me see if I can take the board out and just put it in. In a bag. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put in the Brian Boland Joker issue. Brada. Okay. Hey, I gotta say one thing real real quick, man. Good. Yo, Mr. Miracle, you see this man? You see this guy right here, dude? This guy with this big massive red beard, man, and these fucking these fucking Gucci diamond glasses and this this big old gold strap man and these drops and shit dude i'm coming for you man i'm coming for you canadian motherfucker you you think you could beat me with kirby we'll see brother we will see damn you heard it here first ah ah this american won't lay down for any canadian none of you especially <laughs> in the category of jack kirby ah Boom! <laughs> Check this out, man. It worked out. Look, that was pretty nice. Oh, full screen, that bad boy. Bang, bang. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, that looks good. We got a little slab joker. It'd be nice, I guess, if I had a... Well, it won't make sense to have the wrong one, but just to see what it looks like with one. With a label on it. Oh man, it makes it so much it makes it worth it, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, man. man. 
fantastic. You can't buy shit like that, you know? You can't get a good case anywhere. Yeah, I'm digging it. I got to figure out which book I technically want to put in this, but I'm definitely going to put something in here. I'd put that big bad fucking first vision in there, dude. I'd call it motherfucking day. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Slab down was still happening. Oh, it's coming, brother! Don't you get too comfortable, man? Don't you get too comfy and think it's all over? Because it's not, brother. There's hell to pay, and a slab down will commence on your ass. Yeah, slab down's in a little. You know, granted, it's been in a little hiatus. Um, you know, '90s been handling his biz, and I didn't want to just run episodes without him. But even more so, it's like. The coordination of the participants, man. I'm starting to wonder, dude. Is do are we are we is there some kind of shenanigans going? Because I'm starting to think that motherfuckers might be plotting against slap down, dude. I don't know, man. You know, everything's in the air now. The legend retired from comic book wrestling programs. He said we got the announcement on Instagram today. Okay, so. You know, who knows, brother? Okay. Um, you know what I'm thinking? You know what might be cool for this? What's that? For this lab? Is like, because I don't want to put a book that I would, that I actually plan on slabbing in it. Okay. But this would kind of be cool for a book that, like, I don't really want to send to CGC. Yeah. Why'd you pump so, your brakes on your Thor? Because you got a little nervous? Huh? Why'd you pump your brakes on your Galactus origin? Did you get a little nervous? Oh, to put it in here? Yeah. Yeah. I was nervous that I might fuck up the book. Okay. I feel like when you start sliding it in, it gets real tight. I don't know. Just, uh, just some uncertainty, man. I feel you. But, you want a good, like, fresh, tight book to put in there. You don't want something loose with a loose spine. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. My thought is either between. Maybe putting the Randy Savage in it. Ooh, yeah, dude, that's it, bro. You know, or yeah, or you know, what could be cool too is you know how that book that I've shown. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's in this box or not. Oh, it, I think it is in this box. Oh yeah, here it is. Maybe I can do it live. Ready? What for the sickness? Sick. This book, a book that I really wouldn't slab, but you know. Biggie Shack, you probably know the significance of this book since you're a, a faithful watcher of the 84 content. This is a, a quiz if you watch my content, brother. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, I know what that is. You want me to tell you? Yeah. That's your first book. It's my first book, man. Yeah. So that might be cool. Like, it's a, you know, it's a beat up copy and shit, but like. It means, it means something to you, dude. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun to have like the first. The first book. It's not a bad book. Huh? It's not a bad book. Yeah, and I know it's a pretty sweet cover, too. Let me try to put... I'm going to try to go through all the steps again. I think that one... I think if you put that one in there, it's not going nowhere, dude. Yeah. You know what I was thinking, Big, was... Huh. Look at the back cover of this shit. Oh, oh, dude! Did you see them fucking car just sent geeks, bro? Uh, yeah, I I couldn't see like what was really on them. <laughs> the fucking country gold, dude! I loved it, bro. You got the goddamn country gold. <laughs> uh, you know what's crazy? I didn't even really notice this. Look at the back there. See that white out? Oh, what? What the fuck? Yo, That's a lot of white out, dude. And you know what's crazy is I'm looking close at it. That's my mother's handwriting. No, oh my fucking god! That's your real first book. Yeah, my mother wrote some shit in my book and I whited it out. Bro, that's fucking nutty, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's worn. It's. I read this shit like a motherfucker. So. I thought it was just a book you picked up because you knew about it or so. I didn't know it was the original OG, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's the real thing, man. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's great artwork, here. I don't know what my first book was. It could have been uh it could have been 
a fucking X-Men book is what I'm thinking. And you know what's... Uh, let me see. Was it this one? So David Michelini was the writer and Eric Larson was the penciler. Okay. So let's see if we can slide it in to sleep <laughs> here. We're going to watch 84 Slab, his very first book. Maybe I'll make a custom label and in the keynotes put Kenny's first comic. Keynote. All right. Fair enough. Oh, you're getting to be, this is actually your second, but yeah, I feel you. Why? What's the first? The fucking Batman. You just did it. Huh? The goddamn Joker. You just you just held it up, showed it to us. No, what do you mean? That's my I'm saying my first book. Like my what first was, comic. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm I thought you meant my first, first book. Put inside here. I got you. I got you. Here we go. All right. Slab, baby. Nice. Dude, the speedball makes that fucking cover fucking awesome, I think. Yeah, this is cool. I'm going to probably start putting this in the background of my vids. My first book in a little slab. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's a good... That's the right book for this. Did did Bagley do that? No, uh, Larson. Eric Larson. From fucking Savage Dragon? Yeah. God damn, that She-Hulk is money. I know. His Spider-Man is dope, too. Yeah, bro. What the fuck? I didn't know he was that good. Yeah. This, the work inside, too, is is really mint. Dude, I love Savage Dragon, man. <laughs> yeah. When is that going to pop? Bro, what did you think about my uh my comparison to Nick Cage fo- Footloose with that Miracle Man? Did I nail it or what? <laughs> I could see that. We can... Yeah. We can pull up a, a side by side image. Oh, really? You're gonna do that? Let's see. Yeah, I'll do it for you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. How are you gonna find that image of him dancing at the end of the movie? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of tough. Oh, I thought it was like the movie poster or some shit. I don't know if it is or not. I don't think so. I'm just talking about the end of the movie where he's doing his fucking his little dance. If it, just show the just show the fucking Miracle Man cover. I, I know the chat will recognize what I'm saying. Like they'll see what I'm saying. Uh, that was a good fucking movie, bro. Footloose. When he got all pissed off and he went into that like that salt factory or where the fuck it was, and he's dancing and doing gymnastics and shit like a big pussy, like all depressed. I've never seen that. Huh? I've never seen it. Oh God, it's so funny. It's pretty good, bro. It's fucking corny as fuck. Oh yeah, I'm about to I'm about to hook you up right here, Shaq. All right. All right, so let's save that. And then we go. Dude, you are so on the money with this, bro. I know I am, dude. You are so on the money. And it's in the top ten. It's like number one today. And I I was talking about this shit like two days ago to 84. I was like, dude, I gotta get me some of this Nick Cage footloose fucking miracle men, bro. It's Alan Moore, dude. They're not that bad. I saw two copies for six bucks, eighty four. If I had some money on my card, I'd buy one and fucking send it to you. But maybe I will if I can. What's that? The The Miracle Miracle Man Man? number one. Oh, come on. Let me save this, you jabroni ass. Hold up. Yeah, I hope everybody's good on the the CBF or whatever the fuck they call it with Legend and tony i guess and all the other all i know is that me and 84 just having a good old fucking time nwo style brother and you know we're not going anywhere dude we're just kicking back going down santa monica on them big big fucking triple tripods you know? <laughs> straight up that is pretty much the case oh come on J- oh here we go jpeg nice Oh, no, it's not a JPEG. This fucking... I have an image of Biggie dancing through the old warehouse. I wish I could, Miracle. I wish I could. I got a, I got a fucking picture of you skating on your fucking skates, doing little flips and shit, too, brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> they used to do the dancing on the skates, bro. I had one of my, one of my best friends, Half Pint, dude. 
he, we go to the skating ring, man. I couldn't skate, but this motherfucker, bro, he'd be dancing and getting all the pussy and shit. I'm like, God damn, pint, you motherfucker. All right, here we go. I got, I got it. So, oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, look at my, look, that's the cover. Tell me that ain't fucking Nick Cage footloose, dude. In the that very end of cover, it. But hold on, that's not. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh, I think if you just search Nick Cage, I'll look it up myself dancing. It'll probably fucking show that. Where's the image? Because oh. I opened up the actual picture of it. Hmm. Right, I opened it. Because I remember when I. Uh... Sorry, this is probably bad content, me looking for this shit, but... <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just miracle talking shit, man, giving me a hard time. <laughs> I'm glad that he's into it. He ain't giving me a hard time. He's good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, here's the cover. Miracle Man number one. Right. And, yeah, you were, t you were talking about this book just the other day. Yeah, it was. Oh shit! Here it is. I found a picture. And hold on, I got hold on, I got the perfect one, big. For, for okay. Taking. Hold on, I got the perfect. I'm looking at the top of the so, body, so you. I wanna I wanna lay out Exhibit A. He is right. Miracle Man, Footloose. Now, right. let's uh, let's take a look here. At I don't know that. What well, series bugging out? Now let's get let's get Bacon on here. What's Bacon got to say? So oh, my God. Over on the right side. Oh, my God. With, bro, the same freaking yes. body language. Yes. Like, to a T. Tell me it ain't that, dude. Yeah. Crazy. Yep. You nailed it. I know, dude. I wish I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, but. I can't give you a hard time now that I know you're from a shithole like Ohio and can only pity you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Well, I'm sorry I don't live in up a fucking mountain in shithole Canada, dude, where you probably don't even have access to toilet paper and shit, but, you know. <laughs> Those two body poses, man, is so yeah, funny. Dude. It's Nick Cage, bro. They nailed it. It's yeah. a good book. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Oh, I keep saying Nick Cage. It's yeah, not Nick Cage. Why, did, why am I saying that? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Miracle. That's right. Um, I don't think Miracle saw the unboxing. Check this out, man. Because I was saying, I was like, I have one of these. These are books that I wanted for a while. And I have one of these books. And the one that I have is actually courtesy of you, Mr. Miracle. I picked up Thor 168. Mm -hmm. Thor 160. I'm sorry. What Thor? Thor 167. Thor 168. Hell yeah, baby. Loving that. And 169. This is the book that I have a copy of this from Miracle. 169. Yep. This one's right. a really nice. These are all like high grade copies. And by high grade, I mean maybe seven in the sevens. Oh, pretty nice. Yeah, and he's gave you a couple fucking beautiful pieces, dude. Oh yeah, that that art piece, that civil server art piece is like one of the main centerpieces of my table where I have Yeah, I give I give Miracle a lot of shit, but he gave me a lot of dope books and some nice art too, so I, I don't mean nothing by it. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I think we had a good fucking time. I don't know, dude. What else we got to talk about? Yo, we can't get out of here before we talk about the baddest motherfucker fight. Mm. BMF. Yeah. Going down tomorrow. Yes. I'm pumped, dude. Dude, if I if 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 I get a wild hair up my ass 84, I might just do a live streaming of the motherfucking pay-per-view. I used to do that shit, bro. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. All right. You're gonna get I can't. Your fucked up. I can't. I, well, I've done it before and got away with it. So you watch um, the UFCs because you seem to watch all the pay per view events, and I know yeah. you ain't ordering those fucking pay per views, right? Fuck no. Yeah, I know. And I used to. You know what's the crazy thing? I used to order them like clockwork. Um, wow. But then I kind of got put on to you know the the streams. So yeah, you watch them live. Yeah, I do. I go to uh, First Row Sports dot net or i go to adthe dot net or there's there's one more i can't think of it off the top of my head but there's like three websites you go to and they give you like fuck 20 30 links dude you you can find one it takes you know it might take you five ten minutes but you yeah you i've noticed that it takes it takes a few minutes to a little tinker around and kind of find the right make it work but right it does though. It it's a clean stream yeah it's fine I love it. That's why I don't pay cable. I just use internet. But like I was saying, dude, me and you both picked uh, our boy um, Diaz. Diaz. And I think that I'm staying with that because he just went through later championship rounds than our boy Masvidal. And Masvidal, he's gotten some spectacular wins lately. But it's starting to look like... uh, the guy he beat that Askren dude's the big pussy because he's talking about retiring now. And he kind of got exposed. And they, the last guy was pretty cocky that he beat. I can't remember. Was it, it was Till. He beat Till. And Till, uh, he's all right. But he ain't no, I mean, fuck. D, Diaz went down to uh, McGregor's weight. He just, yeah. didn't he just beat someone else? Like, did he beat Cerrone? Who the fuck else? Bro, he's been beating everybody, bro. Yeah, Diaz has been on a tear for sure. Um the only thing about this is, like, I would suspect that they're just going to go for a knock him down, stand up, <laughs> shoot the fair ones kind of fight. Because if they're hyping it up as bad motherfucker championship, then even though he could easily dominate in this way, I doubt he's going to take him down, shoot for the leg, and and do, like, ground jujitsu. I think for just because of they've been hyping it up as watch two gangsters fight, I think they're just going to throw the hands. So mm. with that being said, it could be anyone's fight, really. Because if these guys just decide to stand up and fucking swing and not really do their usual MMA, you know what I'm saying, use all the tools, yeah. who knows, man? It could be a puncher's chance, like they say, if they're just going to shoot the fair ones. I mean, we'll see. Well, I think that uh, the the Brazilian jiu-jitsu is pretty hot right now. That dude rolled that Askren up, rear, rear naked choked his punk ass. And Askren was the one of the – he was like the greatest wrestler. He was fucking gold medal, collegiate, fucking number one, undefeated motherfucker, bro. Top of the American wrestling chain for sure, brother. And that, that fucking Brazilian jiu-jitsu is no ho. That, that motherfucker, when you watch the replay of that, I watched the replay – and a guy was like fucking going step by step. That guy was like three, four steps ahead of this motherfucker, bro. So shout yeah. out to them BJJ motherfuckers, bro. And Nick Diaz and Masvidal have been trained highly in that shit. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Did you see the – I was watching the press conference today. And uh, tell me the Rock didn't show up. Did what? That? Yeah. No, I missed Bro, did you know? I, I heard rumors of it, but it's it's going down. He said it. He goes, I'm going to be happy to be in the octagon and because they made a belt, badass motherfucker belt. I still haven't seen the belt, though, anywhere. But I, 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 saw, I saw a thumbnail with a glimpse of it, but it didn't show it. Oh, see, I want to f- see that. I do, too. Uh, I'll look in a minute, but see if they posted any pictures yet. But they're going to put the that belt. You know, when, when someone wins a championship, Dana White usually comes and puts the belt around the dude's waist. Yeah. So. When, when they fight, dude, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is going to be the one that's going to come out and put the bad motherfucker belt around Diaz or Masvidal. Yeah, well, he had a he had a fucking belt back in the day. I don't know what it was. Some, it was similar to that title. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I, he did I a whole press conference. I don't think – I, I th- maybe because Rock's from Miami, that's more of a reason why, but I, I would maybe pick somebody besides him. Maybe Stone Cold, maybe. Hey, and I realized why. Because I was like, that's weird that he's doing that. And it's because in his little fucking 
uh, press conference speech. People asking him questions. He's he's doing a movie. That's like a biography about uh, an MMA fighter's life. Oh no shit, Mark. Mark something, and so he's playing an MMA fighter in a movie, and I feel like that's the crossover. He's trying to leverage this into promotion for the film, and you know, The Rock is a fucking savvy businessman, you know. Yeah. What up, Melody Mania? Thank you. Uh, you know, oh, I had shit. to macho madness it up for Halloween, dude. I was like, you know it. Have a long hair. Yeah, she was dying, dude. We, I, I, I finally figured out who I thought you looked like after about twenty minutes of watching it. You like, you look like Michael Hayes from the Freebirds <laughs> with the hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I haven't seen Ballers <laughs> Big. Um, but I know it's. A, I've, I've seen like one episode recently. I, it was just on, and I was watching it. Um, but it's a, it's a show that The Rock has on Showtime. By the way, if any oh what up Mastodon Comics, I didn't see you there. If anyone wants to join too, hot tags all around, man. I'm just hanging out tonight. What is it? Nine o'clock. Yeah, no big deal, dude. Let me know if you want to hang out. Um, I need to do a what's that key? Name yeah, that key you do. Because I have. Because the plan was I was going to potentially do a name that key live from Baltimore, but it didn't pan out. Um, so that means I have 20 name that key trivia books lined up just waiting for an episode, you know? Right. I sent you fuck like 14 myself. Yeah. Yeah. I use some of those. Yep. Hey JP. Thanks for hopping back, man. No, no worries. Um, so it sounds like JP's doing a contest. Oh, I didn't know that. Road to 500 contest. I'm going to I'm definitely going to catch that video later and see what the specifications are. Um, His contest, I won one of them and I got that fucking black hat sketch, dude. And I fucking love that bad boy yeah. so JP yeah. does a good contest. Yeah. I love contests like as far as the kind of like I was thinking about this recently of like what what kind of channel do I have as far as content goes and shit and like I don't know but the only point of my channel is uh, the community aspect I feel like it's you know I want to do contest entries I want to link up with people for live streams like I haven't put out just like a, a video with a certain topic recently in a while, but anyway. What do you want me to do? Drink? Okay. Here. And yeah, JP, hot tags all around, man. So if you want to, I'm just hanging out, you know, it's Friday evening. I got to, I got to work in the morning. So I'm just going to Oh, you do got to work in the morning. Kind of. It's, it's technically a day off for me, but I'm actually going to be uh, on the, on the radio. I'm doing a radio show tomorrow, big. Uh, like what? for work, it's a work thing, and uh, I'm going on. I've done it a, one time before uh, on this show, and it's yo. It has it's the same station that does like the like the sports talk radio that plays like Rush Limbaugh. It's like the, the it's the talk station, the talk network um in in that area and i go on as like right. the expert right. in my field i don't you know i don't like to get too in detailed with you know the work life stuff but it's i go onto a work show okay. i mean onto this radio show and i'm like the expert in my field and people call in with questions and shit damn that's fucking hype <laughs> yeah it's kind of cool it's good like it's pretty good, bar. Like we do it for advertising, like the marketing part of it. You know, sometimes people call us for business, you know, and be like, "Oh yeah," just kind of gives us a little credibility. You know what I'm saying? What did you think about uh, everybody's costume on uh, Sevens when you was on there? 
Mm, good question. Good question. Um, you like, um, let's see. Let's let's think about who had the best costume. Um, so it wasn't me. Let's put me out of the running for sure. Um, <laughs> so, oh, fuck, Melody laughed at yours more than anybody. So. <laughs> if, um, so let's let's see if we can narrow it down to top four costumes, right? Okay. I would say. Boy, you had seven. Seven's costume. Oh, man, so good. Dude, and as soon as you said that, I thought Libre. Libre. Yeah. Uh, Bear Island with the Kurt Cobain. Oh, man, that was good. Uh, yeah, Libre's man was so sick because the way he matched that luchador mask. Oh, fuck, to, dude. Was like flawless. Bro, I kept. I kept thinking tony montana dude i wish you wouldn't have put the fucking mask on and just done a tony montana myself yeah it was it was sharp man i really liked his outfit my, my favorite was really simple was uh was fucking who that tease dude just to fucking reeking straight up who that t yeah what, what fucked me up with that is he was doing a straight up jamaican accent <laughs> I know. I'm like, dude, that's, that's, what? Why are you making him Jamaican? I don't know. I don't fucking know why he was doing that. I think someone in the chat said it, and he just fucking rolled with it. And then I said coconut, and he started saying coconut. I was like, this motherfucker didn't come on with nothing. He was just going to be like, I'm fucking reeking. He said, "I'm hey, guys, it's, it's reeking. Thanks for the thousand subs. I was like, God damn it. Uh, JP went classic. Jason mask, yeah, wrong with a good Jason mask. And when he yeah. up on the screen, remember it was all dark. He had like the lights out. He kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, I think JP was giving you shit, and I told him to calm the fuck down. And <laughs> at one point, <laughs> no, JP's all right. Oh, I remember what he said. He said, "Damn, eighty four, you didn't even do anything different." I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah because yeah i can see that oh that's right you said something like that because uh yeah how many mega power hours have i machoed it up some shit i was like oh come on man no nah, he's just kidding um i don't know who else was dressed up i think you nailed it dude those especially the top three with fucking yeah. uh uh, Russ or my boy, fucking Rob Worst was pretty good. I thought. What did he do? He did something. I thought. No, he really didn't. He he was okay. one of the guys that just went straight. Oh, he was well, wearing fuck. a suit. But I think he does that for work. Oh yeah, maybe the suit threw me off. I mean, we can't uh, we can't not mention Big John, King John. Uh, yeah, the beard was crazy, but more than that, that fucking voice, that accent he did all night. That was the best. He did not let up. No. And I think he should stick with that because before that, it was kind of like a little, a little, uh, maybe homosexual kind of thing. I oh, thought, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. What was his little, he had an accent. He'd be like, who did the president or the kingly? And uh, he was doing that shit. And I was like, come on, John, don't do that, bro. I was like, what is that? <laughs> he definitely was doing like a Jean-Luc Picard. Once he got it, it was a lot better. Uh, it was way better. Um, but yeah, the uh, oh yeah, you know what I was thinking? You know, what I'm, I think I'm gonna do real soon is I think I'm gonna do those color coded. I want to do a couple of those color coded EGS slabs. Oh shit! Okay, you know dude, I really I, I like your. I now I want you cracking nurse slabs, Macho Man, in there because I know where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what made me think of it because I saw the book chilling here. Because um, I think it's like two weeks turnaround time. Uh, I haven't checked the prices lately, but it's like it's cheap, man. It's like twenty bucks. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, and yeah, for books that I don't really care if they're in like CGC, if they're more like PC and you know not a big grail book like this one. Um, this one with the what do you think? Mm. Purple and orange is what I was thinking. Mm. Is that when I think of what's your figure? Right. 
you know, because, like you figured, this one doesn't have purple on it, but, you know, he's got orange on the trunks. Because that was kind of the, the steez, you know? So Macho was... Yeah. You know, since, but since doesn't the match uh, cover's yellow, maybe green, he, he wore a lot of green, too. Mm, yeah, I was just thinking that because the technically the cover, the headband is green on the headband. Right. Right. So it's yeah, tough, I think green man. might work. It is. Orange is main color, but yellow and green is good too. He does a lot of shit, bro. I mean, I feel like purple has to be in there, right? I mean, if they give if you options. What what if they gave you an option of like foil or something? Is that a fucking thing? That would be sick. A foil slab label? Yeah. Like up here? I don't Yeah. I mean it still has to be a color though, you know? Yeah, like a foil fucking green or purple. That would be crazy, bro. I would go with a foil fucking label. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I'm trying to think of books that I would send to him. There was another one I had in mind, but I can't think of it now. That fucking Avengers would be good with like another pink or the same collar. That first vision. Match that up. Yeah, you know, I don't like I wouldn't want to send him big Something books good. okay like that. Yeah, because it's books that I'll, you know, no resale value. It's just more because it'll look cool. This one, hey, how dope would this look with like a blue and yellow? Oh. Hey. How many yeah. of those you got, 84? I think it might. I think I might have another one. It might be two. Yeah. I think you got two of a couple of those. Later, Simeon. I might have one other one. This one is definitely the best condition I got. It's got a couple ticks, but not much. It's crazy, man. The, that wolf, that Incredible Hulk cover that who that bought off me in an auction, that classic McFarlane mm -hmm. cover with the claws. Hulk's, claws. Hulk's reflection is in Wolverine's claws. That thing was, you know, it like, I thought it was like mid-grade tops with the condition that I was in. And who that got it cleaned and pressed from his boy, and he got it slabbed. That shit came back nine point four. Oh, like, wow. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was like mid grade. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I it was. You got that. It had crazy creasing in it and shit. Yeah, yeah, it had mad creases. It was. Yeah. It wasn't bagged. In, it was in that dude's collection in that box, and it was not bagged and boarded. Jeez, oh Pete. You know, so until like, like you get collar breaks on the spine, creases don't really mean shit. I guess. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff that's just color breaking. Um, that's that's not color breaking, and you can just you know flush yeah. them out. That's why I don't worry about stacking my books that much because it don't really tick the spine up. It just leaves a crease in there. If I really wanted to press it out, I think it'd be okay. Mm, this one here. How nice would this look in a black black case with like red little red accent in it? This Wolverine. Okay. I feel like this is a sleeper cover, man. As far as a black cover goes, that's a nice black cover. Yeah, they use that for ads all the time in Wizard. They'd be like, Did you not get your Wizard magazine this month? And they'd show that fucking cover. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's pretty nostalgic. Yeah, it's a great color. 1982? Yeah. Yeah, man. But I don't know. What else? What do you got going on? What do you think, Big? Well, I don't know if Houdat's going to be available for Slab Down because I heard he was at like uh, a con this weekend. So, yeah. I'm already prepping for that not to work out, but I think we got to turn the screws to 90. I do have, um, 
I, I think I'm on New Comic Book Day with 90, dude. I'm, I'm pretty fucking hype about that. You know, me and my boy 84, man, we just kind of parlay around the YouTube scene, dude. And, uh, you know, we're pretty, pretty big dick, top shot, hot shot motherfuckers. So, you know, I was on Big Discoveries and I was on uh, big, big 90s New Comic Book Day. So don't be surprised, dude. You can see us anywhere, man. My man 84, bro, he's on Comic, comic Ories. He's the cover champ. You know, he was hanging out with big justice comics last night one of the best friends of fucking jim's comics man we're, we're you know we're pretty big wig motherfuckers dude so nice that's how we do it man we got the you know what did we learn we learned you can crack a slab with yeah. a butter knife yep. you've seen it happen live and you've seen my first comic now forever encased protected dude gonna be able to be displayed the first book maybe i'll make a little in photoshop maybe i'll make a custom label and i'll put like yeah i'm gonna do that dude i can because i can get busy with photoshop you know and i can totally reproduce that label so i might do that Yo, check out Discovery. It says, I've officially signed up for Monday's Modern Men on Comic Corps. Nice. Yeah, they've been working on that, Modern Men. Nice. What what time do they do that, uh, Discovery? Oh, we got big YouTube is 90. Hey, 90, if you ain't busy, dude, you can hop in here with us, bro. We're just kind of hanging and clanging, brother. We also learned tonight that... Uh, Big eighty four is a hella generous motherfucker, bro, and don't ever, don't ever doubt the NWO's intentions to be cool as fuck. So, we got your back, yeah, ninety. I, I cracked a slab, dude. I cracked the book out of a slab, and I put my my book in it, my first comic in it. Bang! <laughs> it goes down in history in the annals of uh, comic heads, historical comic book collecting man the number one book he's ever put his fingers on dude that's pretty fucking hype yeah oh nice so yeah modern men um 10 p.m eastern yeah you know i kind of i kind of figured they would eventually do that like if you recall the show that i used to do with the comic core was right. monday night at 10 okay. right um right that monday show that i did with white whale and misexplained so there was no Bon Voyage Party 84. They just, you're just gone now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've officially been excommunicated from the comic book. Yeah. This, is how, this is how you get news. Fucking Discovery's like, yo, we're doing a show. I guess that's my yeah. slot. I'm fucking done then. Hey, bro, you did a good job, 84. I, I enjoyed that show. I'm just kidding. We, I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't blame him because like, we never really... Uh, got a like a theme down. Even the name of the show was you know Story Comic Core for a while, yeah. and it was yeah. doing a Monday yeah. show. For as much dis uh, coordination and chaos as much as that, y'all guys pulled together and did a lot of shows. So yeah, and and plus to be honest with you, like the the time slot was tough for your boy. Like I missed a lot of those shows. Like I I couldn't make it to a lot of them. Um. Just because 10 p.m. Eastern's a little on the later side for me, especially on a Monday. So, like, I get it, you know. I get that they had to fire your boy from the <laughs> show. Maybe I can maybe be a guest here and there if I have, you know, if the door's open. But that's cool, JB. I'll be checking that out. Modern Man. Oh, there you go, 84. Kevin Bacon. Miracle Man. Foot loose, rag in the building. Yeah, man. Yeah, I met Rag real quick at uh, at the Be More Con. I think it was at the CGC booth, right? Um, when I was there with uh, with Bear. Did, did, did Discovery say he's in? Where is he? I don't Oakland. know. Hey, Disco, if you ain't doing shit, hop on with us, bro. No, he said he's in Oakland. In Oakland. Yeah, look, he's out in o Oakland setting up for Sunday's Raider game right now. Yeah, that's one of the 
I mean, he said it, so I don't think he'll mind. But uh, JB discovers a man of many talents, and one of his little side ventures is a uh, what do you call it? He works like Wedding. promotional. He does like promotional work for concerts and apparently games, uh, football games and shit. Like he does promotional work at a student at a stadium. So. Hey, Discovery, dude. Me and, 84, me and 84 was talking, bro. It, I'd really be honored if you'd be a guest on Power Hour, dude. I was even thinking doing it on your channel, bro. Do you have any plans for guests next week, maybe, Big 84? Uh, No, I don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't had a plan in a while. <laughs> I know. We haven't done, like, a theme, really. Um, no. No, and we it wouldn't be wrestling oriented disco. It'd just be fucking clowning with the boys, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. If we had discovery on, it wouldn't have to be comic book related. I mean, uh, wrestling related. Right. But yeah, we can. You know, I like top five lists though. Those are the fun ones, I think, for us when we do top five. Yeah, that's our go-to. We can also do top five comic or movie stuff too. Right. That would be pretty cool. Uh oh, what does it say? Three person management staff for the Raiders game, retail merchandise. Oh, okay. You'd be slinging that merch, man. I can't read my spokes of mine. Hey, super power. Oh. Uh, hey, Disco, bro. If, if you heard me, dude, I'll take you on the power next week. But if you're busy, that's cool too, man. Yeah. And what up, Kev? Karate Kev in the house, super power review. He, he oh. legit does karate. Is that right? I think that's the real thing, right? I don't know. Um, but I I am not going to be going to Toward Island Con, unfortunately, this weekend. I got to do some work shit Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, I have, to, I have to do some family things. So, yeah, I know Vasco's, he was chomping at the bit, and I felt like I really disappointed him when I said I'm not going. Because I think he's counting on me for a ride. Oh, um, shit. That Rhode Island con. But, you know. Yeah, we got confirmation from Discovery. He said he's open. And we also got confirmation from Karate Kevin, which is he does do karate. He is, in fact, a karate master. Aikido. That's also Discovery. Karate. I don't know. Which kind of karate do you do? Good question, 84. Count Von Strange, the fourth in the building. Norrin J. Powell, artist extraordinaire. It's just straight up karate, dude. The worst kind. <laughs> All right. Straight up karate. <laughs> yeah, no, karate is its own discipline. Uh, like, what do you call it? I know <laughs> Lyoto Mashida from, you know, to bring it back to UFC, Lyoto Mashida was, you know, a very successful. MMA fighter who used like straight karate. I don't know if it's Shotokan. I don't know the different uh, disciplines of karate, but maybe maybe Kevin knows Lyoto Mashida what kind of karate he practices. Hmm. I know Bruce Lee said karate was rigid and stiff, and he could flow like water through that shit. But you know, I'm not much of a. I, I did karate for like a week. I got my white belt and bounced. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so he's saying that leota machida does the same style as him nice very nice hey man before we get out of here dude i gotta get my cantonese flexing on so Ooh. just just give me a heads up because I, I i'm really digging that cantonese kid shit jeff sorry bro i'm jacking your fucking intro yeah no, I, I dug it too. Um, yeah, what I was going to tell you was I am – I'm not going to do the con this weekend. But right. I am – because I was still like, you know what? Because I was planning on going, but some shit changed for me this weekend. But I'm like, I still want to get my comic fix. So you know, I'm getting up with Bobby Books tomorrow. Nice. And, you know, I told him bring – Bring some shit, man. There's this one there's one book that I know he's gonna bring. And all I'll say is this. We'll see if I 
but I don't know. I got to look at it and see what else he has. But um, you know, I'm trying to get all my Batman villain keys. Yeah. First appearances, and I got there's this one that I might pick up tomorrow that he's got. That yo, it's one that I never hear anyone bring up. Okay. No one show. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen anyone show this book. And it's a. I mean, it's a big. He's one of the main. I don't know if I'd say main. Yeah, he's a. <coughs> he's definitely a very famous Batman villain. I'm baffled. Oh, I know. I know who it is. Go ahead. Man Bat. Nope. Oh, fuck. No, nope, not man bat. You got all of them, dude. I can't think of one. You, you, only one you don't have is Scarecrow. Yeah, it's it's one that never even comes up. When people are like, oh, I need to get this one, this one, this one. This one never comes up, and I don't know why. Uh, And I'll tell you who it is. I'll show you a little picture of it, too, if you want. I want you to get them 10-cent fucking Superman you told me about, dude. Oh, I know. What these guys saying? Hey, Dave, Mr. Miracle Comics. Hey, JB. Hey, Mr. Miracle Comics. Hey, Count. All right. <laughs> what the hey going on? Yeah, Two Face. No, he's already got that one, JP. No, not Two Face. Dude, and I like that. He's not, like, he's not anyone's favorite Batman villain, you know? Okay. I don't think, anyway. But he's still, you know, one of the main, I think. Uh, it's not Batmite, but he has Batmite. He has the first Batmite. Damn, I got some early Batmite, dude. What is it? What is it, dude? I don't know. I still don't know. Who is it, bro? Tell me. Can you read it? I can't read it. He has a bunch of hats on the wall. Okay. I'm baffled, dude. Anybody in the chat? Give him a second. Clayface? What do you say, chat? Can you guess? Can you name that key? Name that key. Oh, fuck. I can't read it. I don't know. JP's got it. Does he? Hatter. Oh. The Mad Hatter. Jesus Christ. The Mad Hatter. So... Oof. It's a pretty cool book, man, and it. I've seen it go for some coin, you know, some some good amount of dough, and uh, like it's not because it's detective number. So I think I can get it for a good deal from him. I'm a two thirty. It's a ten cent detective. Mmm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, bro. You gotta love those, man. That's an OG freaking. Do you have any ten cent Batman? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. You said that like you got a few, dude. I can't remember. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I know um, you have one yeah. from fucking what is it, Smurf? I got a yeah. Smurf is definitely one. Uh, the one with that dude jousting that I bought from DS Comics is one. Mm. Uh, I got some World's Finest, but I don't have like straight up ten cent Batman. Yeah, there might be some other ones, but I can't. Yeah. Those ain't cheap, bro. It's a lot easier to get a Superman 10 center. I'll tell you that. Oh, these. Oh, wow, I thought this one might be 10, but no. Yeah, maybe not that many. More name that key. Yeah, I thought I thought this one was a 10 cent, but it's uh, but it's not. Uh, That's a 12 cent. Yeah, it's a good one, though. The penguin. Yeah. Hell of a dragon. What what was the book that took you down? It was fucking zombie cover, bro, with that I dare say primitive art from fucking DS. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. 84 was like, man, that was a good book. I was like, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean a golden age zombie cover is cool. It's but pretty good. Again, I think what happens in a lot of those competitions, I got to be honest, is people usually go with, if there's like an expensive book, people yeah. usually go with like the big expensive book. Yep. 
Like if those books were both made in the same year, and it was, hey, this is this zombie cover, that's mine, you know. But I get it. It's it's part of the whole uh, presentation that the history of it. It's old. It well, was so I I, def I definitely feel like yours gave more of a zombie fill off. That that was kind of like a corpse, you know, to me. Yeah, and and apparently that's a very famous one. See, I'm not too keen on. Um, a lot of golden age stuff. So JP saying that's that's like a famous one. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I, when I was trying to make the case for it, I was like, my shit says zombie on the cover. His doesn't. Yeah. All right. Let's discovery said do a little more. Name that key. All right. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, y'all want to play around, dude? You're gonna know this one big, but I want to see who's the first in the chat to pop it up. Of course, I will. Yeah, <laughs> a beautiful book. One of my favorite covers. Period of a first appearance. Oh uh, yeah, if any of you jabronis want to hop on here and battle your man, dude, I'll, I'll take anybody on, dude. Ooh. I really don't give a fuck, man. So. Impromptu trivia battle. Yeah, dude. I always throw it out there, man, because your your man Biggie Shack likes to roll motherfuckers up. But anybody in the chat, dude, that's an easy one, y'all. What's key about this book, chat? Teen Titans annual what? Number two? <laughs> Hi, Elias says Mad Hatter. <laughs> what up, bro? It's not Mad Hatter. Good to see you. Hi, Lucha. I think I think we did we skipped past it, but def, Lucha definitely had the best outfit, bro. Yeah, we were talking about you earlier. So ranking the costumes from sevens, and we put you pretty much at the top of the heap, man. Yeah, for sure. And he repped hard, dude. I couldn't believe he couldn't find a fucking Doctor Strange book, though. That kind of threw me off. It's a first appearance, yeah. Oh, I think everybody's... Uh, Stumped? Googling. I, I think they gotta Google be. Google. That's so easy. Are you guys kidding me? Yeah. You know what? They're Googling. Forget it. Yeah. You, you guys Google don't deserve it. it. I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it was first fucking vigilante. He was on the cover. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Mr. Miracle got it. Yeah, I believe him. What's the 234? What's that mean, Libre? Oh, yeah, Hialeah. I think Hialeah is late in the chat. Oh, okay. He's behind. Yeah, because he was saying Mad Hatter. I think he's, yeah. Behind. Oh. Uh, let's see. We'll give him a couple more. We ain't gonna hate on the chat that hard. Oh wow, look here it is. I have it handy. Right here. No way. No, no, I have this book handy. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the one that Miracle gave. What me. a nice guy, man. Miracle dude, you're a fucking G, bro. He gave me some great fucking Kirby books, dude. I love that guy. Yo, Carson. The original Chico brother. Good to see you, man. That other Chico ain't got shit on you, man. Chico, I was to bring you guys up to speed. The newcomers, I got this was my eBay unboxing. Yeah, I got my Galactus Origin issue squared away. Yeah, y'all missed the slab massacre earlier. You got to tell them about that too. Yeah, I cracked as per the title of the video you probably saw. I cracked open the slab and I put the my very first comic that I ever that I bought in it. So there we Beauty. go. My low grade white out on the back because my mother wrote some shit on it in pen. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, it's that's the one. That's the first jam right there. Hey, A84, not many mothers would put the mu put that much care into whiting out their son's fucking con. That's pretty pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, she hooked me up, man. That's pretty cool. All right, hi, Louis back. Mr. Miracle, yeah, I got a... Miracle says that was a book he speculated on about 11 months ago. No, I don't think Miracle would do that. He's pretty knowledgeable, dude. Yeah, no, Miracle knows his shit. Except about well, American Kirby. Let's see. He may know Canadian Kirby. Dude, and one thing about Miracle, I don't think he likes Todd McFarlane, and fucking McFarlane's from Canada, so maybe there's some kind of... 
shit yeah, up there. Yeah, doesn't like Todd McFarlane. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah. I have to ask him one day. I think the essentially, I think his two main gripes would probably be that he thinks he's not. Uh, I think he probably thinks he's overrated artistically. That's crazy. Drawing, but okay. secondly, I think he just thinks he's a money grubbing mm. capitalist type of dude. Wow. Okay. I think any the one point he told me that made me think like that's whack is like in a a kid wrote in to the letters page of a comic and like McFarlane was shitty to him or something like that. Oh yeah, I remember him saying that. You're right. He might be. He he does put off that, but he's he's a big dick motherfucker, bro. He's got he's got to be a little weird. All right, chat. Name this key. Oh shit, this one gives me trouble. First appearance. I fucked this one. Be the first in the chat to name I, the key. I think I know it. This was in an episode of Name That Key. And I remember it stumped. I remember it stumped for uh, both of them. It was Miracle versus Javi. Not yeah, Javi. Miracle Javi. against Javi, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. C. Woodard, Norin, and JP all knew what time it was. Victor Zaz. Good, good one, guys. I'm sorry I gave you so much shit. I also have this issue. This is a nice shape, too. Thor 411, guys. Okay. What's about this book? The cover's not going to give it to you. Mm. Because it's got nothing to do with Thor or Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. It's a great cover, though. That's an underrated cover. Yeah, I think this one fucked me up too. I finally finally learned high evolutionary after about ten times. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, goddamn! You can't stop him, dude. Can't stop Miracle Man. Can't stop Miracle. First cameo appearance of the New Warriors. He would have got a point on me with that one. In this very issue. And if you guys want to see it, let's look at it. Take the tape off. Very nice. That's the good thing about painting tape. It's very easy to pop it on and off. Whatever happened to your first Ivy, dude? It's still, I think it's in this box right here. You kept her. I got it, yeah. It's, you know, it's beat to the street, yo. Yeah, well, it's still... The shit, bro. I would love that book. I would fucking love that book. Uh, I thought it was on the last page, but I guess not. Did you see where they showed uh, on the top ten? They said that the first, uh, the first, what was it, Dark Angel or where the fuck X Factor Twenty Three was the original one? Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I bet that's at everybody's shop, dude. I'm gonna go get that tomorrow. There's your first New Warriors cameo. Oh, man, I wish I had more books out here, dude. Together, we... Uh, they all say their names, and then Night Thrasher, the leader, says, Together, we are the new players in the war on crime. The new edge justice needs to defeat superhuman scum like you. The New Warriors. That's not a bad speech. Let's see if they can get this easy 184. I got one for him. <laughs> JP says they're about to get curb stomped by Juggernaut. I know. So Juggernaut's way out of their league. What's this one, guys? Anybody know what that is? Any clues? The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, man. Number one oh two. I got this fucker for fifty bucks on my birthday. Thought I'd sport her a little bit. They had shittier ones for more money. What issue? First issue, Incredible Hulk. Uh, 
Funk 102, yeah, but what is it technically? It's not it's not first first issue. Yeah, that's true. It's not you can't say it's Hulk one first issue. No, you gotta say the proper did the old ones you know what did is that the first time they used uh that adjective the incredible hulk were the were the old school hulk books just say hulk on it you know i i never really thought about that if anyone in the chat knows let me know if i think so if they say incredible hulk. Hulk, you got it discovery hulk 102 dude glorious premier issue these are all cool you know like 84 has got that first submariner 90s got first iron man 84 has got that first vision which is a little different. forgot that cap 100 that hulk 102 they're all kind of like first silver age appearances avengers yeah we got a lot of the avengers covered yeah that's right <laughs> hulk uh, i mean i'm sorry 90s iron man slab mm -hmm. yes. yep Mucho caliente, bro. Yeah, he's got Hulk 102 double cover too, man. It's pretty fucking hype. Okay, so JP's confirming um, that even the OG Hulk book said incredible in it. Yeah, I think they did. First issue, incredible. Uh, here it is, just because you mentioned it. If you want to see what the what the current state of this book is. There's the oh, tape pull right on the checkerboard is where I pulled the tape on it. You know what, 84? I think that you're skilled enough to where you could do a little collar touch on that. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, I it's know it still, if I mean, like but, a nice, really nice copy and that happened, that'd be one thing. But when you get a closer look at it, I mean, the spine is... Really red. Oh, yeah. The bottom is missing a couple chunks. It hurts, but it don't hurt that bad because you already got all the. It's it's a point five. It might have been a one. It might have been. It could be. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it's a point. And the the coupons cut out or the posters ripped out. Okay. Which you you got a facsimile, right? Mm, no. I'll have to send you one. You need that fucking fold out because you could use it. Yeah. This is see. There's a couple books in my collection that. I would like to upgrade, you know. Civil Surfer 1 is one for sure. I think this is another one that A lot of a lot of people bought the facsimile to take the pin up and put it in their original. If I wish I had another one. I gave my mom the second one, but if I get another one, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. The pin was pretty cool too. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. It's you know, and until I stumble across, you know, another nice deal. Or something like that. I'll hang on to it. Yeah, I don't see you getting rid of that. That's a that's a cool ass book, man. It yeah. wouldn't be easy to buy. Yeah, I don't care if it's low grade. It still presents good. One thing I can I will not own a coverless comic. I just won't do it. Um, <laughs> I bet you, I don't know, man. There ain't no book that I want. Nothing? Nope. Even oh, man. I, I don't care how historically significant. It just it messes with the presentation so bad. I couldn't I'm, do it. I'm so hardcore. I would even take a page of a big major key. <sighs> I would. I mean, it'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool to have like something out of that Tech Twenty Seven a page. Yeah. All right. Any time the cap pages, I would take any early Batman, Superman. I saw Silver Age Dave had a a Batman three page, like a few of the pages. It was just fucking cool. <laughs> Gray man. Brutus needs a barber. <laughs> Great cakes in the house. What up, Gray man? Hey, maybe we could auction off my beard around Christmas so I could buy a fucking timely cap. Wow, I'll shave it off. Your beard off. Yeah, like get some some fucking money so I can buy what I want. <laughs> There you go. That would look good in that slab, man. Those are fucking sweet. I got I got a fucking reprint number three, bro. It would go great with those. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's funny that you know I, I bought one online 
and I just randomly came Bobby books randomly had it for sale too and it's like oh, and I got such a better deal off Bobby than I did online I was like god damn I wish I didn't buy that online and saw you it was like what are you gonna do damn Discovery said he owns a coverless FF2, dude. Wow. Yo, Big, what kind of, even though we should probably do this off camera, but okay. what kind of condition is your first Black Knight in that Avengers book? Uh, dude, it, it came to me. I bought it at a four or five, but I, I swear it's, it's over a five. Yo, you know I've been plotting on that book, dude. Yeah. I don't mind if I can get rid of it. And I know you don't give, you don't really care about that book, that that character anyway. And I don't want to say that not, book. Not too much. We need to work out a trade, <laughs> man. Okay. I was thinking maybe trade my Incredible or my uh, Immortal Hulk two for that Avengers, but I don't, I don't think you'll do that now. It's a nine eight. <laughs> But my Immortal uh, Hulk is pretty fucking crispy, dude. It's probably a nine eight. Immortal Hulk? Yeah, I got Immortal Hulk too. It's like brand new, mint, bro. It was in one dude's hand. He brought it into the oh. shop, and I found it the same fucking day. Yeah, man. I feel like that was a hype book. People were hyped off that. Yeah, that's that why I'm trying to get rid of it. Yeah, I, I would think I would probably trade you that for that vision. I'm just saying. You know what I should have done? I fucked up. I should have hung on to that low grade Silver Surfer 3, first Mephisto. Because mm -hmm. uh, that probably would have been a good trade right there. I would have sent you that. Yeah. So three for the for the thing. But that's a that's around where I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, because that would have been a I feel like that would have been win win, but I fucked up. I, I got that's when I went on my uh my mission to stack up some dough for Baltimore. I think legit. It's probably top five book for me. So it would, it would mean a lot to me, but it's not one of my top five favorite. It's like, you know, yeah. it's probably a lot lower. What number is that? Um, I, so I know, you know, your blue beetle keys, I'm sure. We're going to look up. That's right, guys. I'm going to try and see if I can Paula take a deal for that Black Knight for Mr. Biggie Shack. Let's see if we can let's see if I can work a deal with him live on the Mega Power Hour. Our first ever live trade. Oh, here he comes. Yo, Big. Yo. I'm looking it up right now. Okay. Wait. I'm trying to fix my camera to where you can't see the bathroom because Melody's got to go to the bathroom. Here, I'll just turn it off for a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, you were right. 48. Avengers 48. Uh, stop cam. Okay. Go ahead, babe. Are you sure? Yeah, I turned the camera off. <coughs> I swear to God. Yeah, it's you know, off, Millie. Yeah, not, he'll tell you. You it's can't off. see nothing flat. Oh, you know what I'll do to make it even better? I'll just uh, wait. Go for it, god damn it. You're good. Yeah, it's it's good. Just know it's good. I was gonna remove you, but then I would mute you too. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Let's see. What else do I got that you may like? Um Yeah. What was wrong with this thing? There it's okay, I got the grade right here. It, it actually says 3.5. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I thought it was like a lower grade one. Yeah, it's got a little tear on the top corner, which you can't even hardly tell. I don't know why it's such a low grade, bro. And it's a white cover, so. Yeah, maybe. All right. I, you, can you put your camera back on yet or no? Yeah, yeah. Can I see the ledger? Let me see this thing. Get light on it better. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Cool book. It's up here. There's like a little, little 
You see it? Little break up there in the green. Uh -huh. That's all it is, bro. What, you got that in the top loader? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's good. Definitely higher than a 3.5. It was graded from um, my comics, and they grade really low, so I think it's higher than that. They like to cover their ass. I would like to CGC this fucker, see what, see what the fuck's going on, because I don't believe it. Maybe the covers are white. I haven't seen one that's like super white compared to mine either, but I could be wrong. I mean, now that I look at it, I see some creasing, creasing up here. Uh, yeah, once you, once you really get into uh, the minutia, you can start to spot for for a lot of books. Sometimes I kind of glance, things will look clean, and then I get closer. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. It's still pretty good. Only paid twenty for it. Yeah, I don't know why you don't want this fucker right here. This one's like mint, bro. I know it's fucking nine eight. Yeah, I just. It's just a hype book. I know, dude. I think I gotta get rid of it soon, though. Yeah, you probably should. It's it's pretty cool. I like Discovery's variant he has. Oh, this is a sweet one. Yeah. I paid I paid a decent coin for it. But this fucking this is the one that uh TJ Slabdragon says is his favorite Neil Adams cover. Uh that Strange Adventures. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, they were just saying the first appearance Dead Man was high high as fuck, like on the top ten. Right. Right. Yeah, this this might be his most iconic cover, I think. You know, my cap 107 looks a lot like that. Let me go grab it. Justice says you were looking for a high grade copy of the of the Black Knight book, I presume. Yeah, I'd really like to get on that book, man. Because I know it's starting. You know, he's getting a little more mainstream. Uh, and Biggie had been saying since he got it, like, eh, he didn't really give a fuck about the book. Maybe we can work out a trade. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, that dead man is sweet. Yeah, let me see that dead man again. Because I got this one. Oh, yeah. I could see why you'd say that. Because it's like the character's colored in the foreground. And in the background, it's like a muted color green. Yeah. it's a, It's got some similarities going. Boom. Justice for Comics says, that's a trade, brother. What do you think? All right. I guess you'll be giving them that uh, first Black Knight then, Justice. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I guess I guess Justice has got you a good Black Knight then, because I don't know what he's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what did you offer? I didn't even hear it. Uh, well, I only have this one box with me, so I don't have much to, that I can pull and grab. But I was I showed that one. I offered that one. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure you're really feeling that. You gonna do smack me? <laughs> yeah, right. I got Melody fucking with me. Eighty four, man. Target all. Oh yeah, I can see it right in the earlobe. I've never in this position where where eighty four wanted any of my shit. That's just pretty weird. He wants your stuff. He wants one of my books. Yeah, I should just give him to him, shouldn't I? Yeah. No, hell no. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, he did just give me that savage, didn't he? Peace out, Miracle. <coughs> uh, I don't know if I could do this one. Because I, I feel like this one's in the... You know, I was just showing the, the question. Stop. Please stop. 
Yeah, that's pretty sick, bro. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I'm sitting on these to wait for my my moment with the question. Yeah, we might pull something out in the off chat, dude. I don't want to jump into something crazy. Why yeah, do you no, fucking with me? You don't fuck around and get a big dick in your ass. You don't quit fucking with me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh shit! All right, man. What time? Yeah, it's getting late. We've been rocking for like two hours, man. Melody's Omania is getting restless. I guess, dude. I'm not the one to stick somebody's dick. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Oh, you're flirting. I'm just saying. Big. Let's uh. Let's take this thing down, Santa Monica, dude. All right, man. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my fucking Cantonese shit, dude, and have fun, man. But uh, I appreciate you, dude. You're one of the best, man. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be sending you some fucking flame for that goddamn slab. I know that, bro. But I know you don't even want anything, but that's just how it goes, brother. And then everybody else out there, appreciate y'all. What do you guys say, Big Eighty Four Cover Champ, Big Dog, dude? <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, Mega Power did it again. That's right, Perry. I might take you up on that. We'll see. I don't know what what time does Perry go on. He goes on kind of late, but we'll see. It's Friday. I do have some work stuff to do, but I don't have to. It's not that early, so we'll see, man. I just might hit up Perry for the hot tag later if I'm feeling frisky. Oh, I don't get one, Perry. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He no. didn't offer me one, did he? No, he did. Oh, okay. Well, he kind of did, yeah. <laughs> 84 <laughs> anyone else besides Biggie. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Perry. I'm gonna watch, oh, you know what I'm going to do? After this, I'm going to fucking grab the rest of my pizza, and I'm going to watch the new episode of Titans Dog. Um, yeah, man, look. I went to go use that app you sent me, and my old phone broke, so I don't have the text. So it's not like I've ignored what you sent me. I just lost my phone two, three days ago. Oh yeah, easy. I'll 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 retext it to you. And yeah, for that show and just for dude, this is mad shit on that app. Yeah, I, I was I was I was going down that rabbit hole, bro, and I was like, look, and I was like, God damn it, I lost all my fucking texts. Yeah, I'll resend it to you. So boom. All right. All right, yep. man, it's down the Cantonese catwalk. Yeah. Bro. You already, dude, this is Biggie Shaq's new shit. I stole from Jeff, Jeff Comics, man. Here we go. the g-spot every time jeff comics and we're out what you gonna do night everybody